I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will discuss a test question which is based on composite functions. Well, most students got the first two correct. However, there was a problem in solving question number three. In this video, we will understand the basic concept and see how each one of them should be solved correctly. Well, in case you want to learn from me, feel free to send an email on the address given. Now, let's look into the solution of question number one, which is we are given that the function h of x is equal to square root of 16 minus x square. You may also write domain and range of this particular function. Now, h of x is also equal to f of g of x. In question number 1, we are given that f of x is equal to square root of x. Now, we need to find what is g of x. Well, clearly, g of x, which is inside the function, should be equal to what? So, we can write from here, g of x should be equal to 16 minus x square, right? Since that matches, perfect, you get the idea. So that is how you could find the inside function of a composite function. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now let's move on, take solution of the second question. In the second question, we are given that the function f of x is equal to square root of 16 minus x and we need to find what is g of x for h of x which is equal to square root of 16 minus x square. Now we need to again find the inside function. Finding inside function is simpler, right? This is this, right? And if you note x and x square, we can very clearly see that g of x should be equal to x square. So that works, right? In that case, we'll get h of x equals to square root of 16 minus x square. Makes sense. So these are the two parts which most students got correct. You must have also got it. And it's not that difficult. However, question number three is kind of difficult. Now in question number three, we have h of x as equal to square root of 16 minus x square. And we also know that h of x is equal to f of g of x, right? But this time, what we are given? We are given the inside function. We are given that g of x is half x, and we need to find what is f of x. How do you figure that out? So outside function is what? we are interested in finding. So here we need to do some reverse calculations, right? That is what we need to do. That is to say, after substituting half, we should get x square. You get the idea, right? So, so that gives us an idea. So we can say, well, in that case, f of x should be what? Well, f of x definitely should have square root, right? And the term 16, which is independent of x, minus. Now, we are going to put half x, but we need x square. So, basically, we have to put half x, and that good should be transformed to x square. So, what should be there, right? So, if I square this, I get 1 over 4 x square. That means I should put here. 4, do you see that? So, so if I put 4, right, x square, then the things will work out. Do you get the idea? So, that is how you should be answering. So, in this particular case, the solution f of x should be equal to 16 minus 4 x square, square root. Perfect. So, you can check solution, correct? So, you can check that h of x will be equal to square root of minus 
16 minus 4 and instead of x square if I put half x whole square then what do we get? Substitute half x for g of x what do I get? Well I do get the required equation which is 16 minus x square square root. You see that? So that is how it should be solved. Perfect. Now in addition to what we have just discussed I will also like you to work on domain and range of these functions. Okay. And I hope you know or understand what h of x is, right? h of x, let me sketch this here for you. The function h of x, how will it look like? It's a semicircle. It is a semicircle and the domain is from minus 4 to plus 4, both included. Maximum value is also 4, perfect. So that is what h of x is. So I hope this also helps you to understand the composite function and how we broke down its components to understand it better. I hope you find this interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. And in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Please check our website for the latest updates. Thank you and all the best.